place looks like it should have a VIP lounge. I'm just saying. So we got some K-pot action. K-pot's a franchise. Now here's another thing they put over here. It's a uh, Hong Vong. It's a food market. Probably gonna be like an H Mart. That's gonna be over here. There you go. Opening today. K-pop. So is this the line? You gotta just wait in line to get in, or what, what's going on? Did anybody make reservations? Nope. nope. Okay. Have y'all been to one before? Yeah, we went to one up in Philly. The Philly, the Oregon, yeah. or the uh, North Philly one, the uh, Oregon, yeah. South Philly. Yeah. 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 Ain't it? There's a gift shop. Where's the bear at? All right, here we go. Going to our table now. It's like a nightclub up in here. They got the lights and everything. Um, just opened up today, so that's good. They're a franchise, so I think this is maybe the 17th one or something like that. But the one I usually, the first one I got introduced to was with my buddy Cam, and that was the one down in South Philly on Oregon Avenue. So this one just opened up, this is opening day, this is day one, with day one, K-Pot in Newark. So if you've never been to a place like this, what it is, you have a, a hot pot, and then you have a grill in the center of the table. And you order your ingredients from the menu. They got the, a bar and everything, but you order your ingredients. You order your base, and then you order your ingredients to put into your base for your soup. Put your ingredients in there, and then you hook up the whole thing, right? So you got everything inside here. You pick out what you want. They bring it to the table, and then you cook it up. So I'm starting with a miso soup today. And it's a couple of things that I know is right from the gate. I guess this is an, an induction plate, this hair. Yeah, so the, they're using induction plates at this one, not the old um, heating elements. So you don't gotta worry about anybody burning their hands on the plate here, at least for the soup. So that, bam. And the place looks like a club. We got the in induction right here, plate in the center. I'm doing a, a two-seater booth, which is kind of nice. I like this one. And where I'm sitting now, I'm going to show y'all. I got a nice view of all the TV sets. So there's like four sets. Yeah, there's four sets up that way. And then there's nice general area. It is smaller than the one in Philly, but that's kind of cool because it keeps it kind of nice. And there's a nice big window so I can see out there. So I'll, I'll give a view of the whole interior. But right now, I like I like the vibe that's going on in here. So they got like all the fixings over here. So there's the fixings. And this is where you get all your ingredients and stuff. Make your own sauces. So let's get in line and get ourselves some sauces here. So first you gotta get your bowl and your plate here. Now the thing I really do like about the way they did this one, oh, there you go. Mm -hmm, you good. <laughs> thing I really do like about the way they do it here, instead of having like your, um, I don't know what these would be called,
but they got the radishes and everything here instead of sitting on the table. The other ones, they sit them on the table and you don't know how long they've been sitting out or whatever. So that's my faves. And grab a little seaweed right here. Oops, I'm sorry. <laughs> some pineapple right here see they got some Ooh. now here's the inside here's my insider tip right here you get yourself some pineapple and you throw that pineapple on the grill dog it's like coleslaw with spice They even got a little salad here. Want to have a little salad? This is also where you get your utensils if you choose to use the utensils. So pick up your utensils here. You don't have to worry about somebody saying, oh my goodness, you at an Asian place and you're using utensils. Just come up here and grab your utensils. Don't even worry about it. And you notice at the top here, you got the different sauces. They got suggested sauces that you can mix together. You can do it any way you want, but those are the suggestions up there if you don't know what you're doing. Now me, I like to add a little garlic. Now here comes the sauce. You got sesame sauce, and then you got the peanut sauce. I'm a peanut sauce kind of person. Okay, so that's my peanut sauce right there. Oh. All right, then you come down here, and they even got some like uh, some fried stuff. And there's your d different sauces right there. Dub dub, time to bust a grub. I need some oil. I'm actually going to do oil on this one. So take a little oil. This one's more of a like a Teflon. Shout out to my man Cam on the uh, the whole ramen procedure. My whole ramen procedure has just been upped. So there's like the little knots right here. The garlic knot, not garlic, seaweed. It's a thicker seaweed, but it's a bigger one. Yo, oh no, not at all. Yeah, it's called Day One Adventures. Day One Adventures. Yeah, there you go. That's a thicker one right there. Oh, it's like a little snack. I like that. Good. I like the seaweed knots. I'm doing all right for right now. Thank you. So the cool thing is, it's all you can eat. So where am I going to start? 
Let's get that pork belly on there. Oh no, this ain't pork belly. Get off. Come on, get off there. The great thing about this, like, you can cook this any way you want. The only rule is there are no rules. I definitely would suggest to dress for the occasion. All right, so that's the short rib right there. Let me get my, my eating plate ready. I'm gonna need another bowl. Who would have ever thought it would be so fun cooking your own food? I'm a savage with it, man. It's my food and I'm going to use my hands. Carry hand sanitizer. Just, just my little thing. Well, I think my steaks are done. Look at that. Look at that pineapple right there, see? People don't know about that right there. Yeah, I really enjoy going to K-Pot. The Korean barbecue thing is just real fun to just sit there and cook at the table with a group of friends or just by yourself. Um, it's healthy. I, I, I don't feel like I'm eating too much. I can get nice fresh ingredients and I can cook it the way I want to cook it. It was a lot of fun. If you ever get a chance to go to K-Pod or Korean barbecue, if you ever get a chance to go to K-Pod, I would say go. It's fun for the family. Everybody seems to find something that they like. Some people are a little hesitant about going there because they don't recognize stuff on the menu. But that's when it helps to go there with people and friends and family to uh, share in the food experience. So until next adventure, remember, take care of each other, peace out, and I'll see you all soon.